company most people have never heard of, and this company quite literally owns the world. Most US banks are controlled by BlackRock. BlackRock owns all the major pharmaceutical companies. BlackRock owns most of the mainstream media, and BlackRock oversees roughly 10% of all stocks traded worldwide. And this company is now taking over governments. All of this has allowed BlackRock to amass $10 trillion in assets. Yes, trillion. BlackRock is worth half of America's total GDP, with BlackRock's founder and CEO now sitting on the boards of the influential Council on Foreign Relations and the World Economic Forum. In the words of Henry Kissinger, whoever controls the money controls the world, and no other company in history has had this much global influence. BlackRock now owns stakes in every industry from media companies, banks, oil companies, and weapon manufacturers. And in recent years, the consequences are becoming dire as Larry Fink begins to exert his control over the world. One of the ways BlackRock controls the world so well is through its control of the media. Together with Vanguard, an investment company they also partly own, BlackRock now controls 18% of Fox, 16% of CBS, 13% of Comcast, who themselves own NBC, MSNBC, CNBC, and Sky, and they even own 12% of Disney. This is very important because it means that for any of these companies to decide on company policy, they must now also consult with BlackRock before doing so. And it's just the same with big tech. BlackRock is now the biggest institutional investor in Google, Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, and so many more. I mean, the list of their investments and in companies is just endless. But this whole situation becomes even more sinister when you realize BlackRock's power is now being compromised by other actors. For example, in August 2020, BlackRock became the first foreign company to be allowed access into China's mutual fund industry. This means that BlackRock can now invest and own parts of Chinese companies. God only knows what BlackRock promises you paying if they're allowed in. But by being allowed in, BlackRock now works with companies that are blacklisted by the US. One example is BlackRock's investment in a CCP-owned company called Hickey Vision. Hickey Vision makes security and communications technology for both civilian and military use by the Chinese government. And they're also known for their wide-scale human rights abuses. How do you think your facial recognition technology will change China? Everything happened in the uh, in the public can be record. Now, this money being invested into China isn't just BlackRock's own money. Most of this money comes from the pension funds and bank accounts that ordinary people pay into BlackRock inadvertently. Through BlackRock controlling banks, people have no choice about whether they give BlackRock and the CCP this money. That's if they even know about BlackRock. This recent trend of BlackRock funding authoritarian regimes can only mean bad things for Western democracy. Because this empowers regimes like China and Russia, it gives credence to dystopian regimes. And this trend is now promoting others to do the same. I mean, BlackRock recently recommended that their investors triple their investments in China. This place billions more into a dystopian regime at the expense of the West. And the worst part is that China sees the companies that operate within it as simply extensions of the one-party state. They own these companies, and in return, the companies act out the CCP's will. Which is a worrying fact when you consider that BlackRock owns the entire world's data. TikTok's data harvesting is nothing compared to BlackRock's. BlackRock knows the entire world's bank details, their preferences, tastes. It sets social trends, it oversees entire countries. So any increase in Chinese investments will see not just BlackRock's influence grow, but also China's influence grow in BlackRock. Since August of 2020, when BlackRock were first allowed into the Chinese economy, they have only poured more and more money into these Chinese companies. Clearly, Aladdin the supercomputer sees this as a profitable move, but what it might not see is the destruction of Western values. It might not see how the CCP could influence the world economy and global politics even more than it already is. It might not see that BlackRock's huge investments will be the catalyst towards this change. I mean, who knows how much more BlackRock would invest in China? But if their growth over the past year is a sign of anything, China will inevitably become a much bigger part of BlackRock's future. And make no mistake, this will have dire consequences.